The shocking facts told by Bermuda Triangle survivors. Since the dawn of science, the researchers have explored the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle's mysterious disappearances of hundreds of ships, but still have not come to a conclusion. This region of the Atlantic Ocean is home to around 300 vessels, several of which have capsized for unspecified reasons. What do the findings say? What do we know and what do we not know about the Bermuda Triangle? Hello friends, welcome back to our channel, Country Facts. So let's get in to know more about this Devil's Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle, also called the Devil's Triangle, is an urban legend about a vague area in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where planes and ships are said to have gone missing under mysterious circumstances. In the middle of the 20th century, people started to think that the area was especially prone to disappearances, but most reputable sources say there is no mystery. The Bermuda Triangle isn't on any maps of the world, and the U.S. Board on Geographic Names doesn't count it as an official part of the Atlantic Ocean. Even though strange things have been happening in the area since the middle of the 19th century, the term Bermuda Triangle didn't start to be used until 1964. The first mention of strange disappearances in the Bermuda area was in an article by Edward Van Winkle Jones in the Miami Herald on September 17, 1950. Sea Mystery at Our Back Door, a short story by George Sand, came out in Fate magazine two years later. It was about the loss of several planes and ships, including Flight 19, which was made up of five U.S. Navy Grumman TBM Avenger torpedo bombers on a training mission. Sand's article was the first to describe the now-familiar triangle-shaped area where the planes went down. It was also the first to mention that there might have been something supernatural going on with Flight 19. In the April 1962 issue of American Legion magazine, only Flight 19 would be talked about again. In it, author Alan W. Eckert wrote that the flight leader was heard saying, We're in trouble and nothing makes sense. We don't know where we are and the water isn't white, it's green. He also wrote that officials at the Navy Board of Inquiry said the planes flew off to Mars. In February 1964, Vincent Gaddis wrote The Deadly Bermuda Triangle for the pulp magazine Argosy. He said that the disappearance of Flight 19 and other planes were part of a pattern of strange things happening in the area. Gaddis took this article and turned it into a book called Invisible Horizons the following year. In the Gaddis Argosy article, the triangle's edges were described, and its three points were named Miami, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. Writers who came after did not always use this definition. Some writers gave the triangle different edges and points, and the total area was anywhere from 1.3 million to 3.9 million square kilometers. In fact, some writers take it all the way to the coast of Ireland. So which accidents happen inside the triangle will depend on which writer wrote about them. Even though it has a bad reputation, the Bermuda Triangle is not a place where a lot of people go missing. Disappearances don't happen more often in the Bermuda Triangle than in any other area of the Atlantic Ocean that is similar. At least two times, U.S. military ships were involved in events in the area. In March 1918, the coal ship USS Cyclops went missing in the Bermuda Triangle. It was on its way from Brazil to Baltimore, Maryland. No one could explain where it went, and no wreckage was ever found. About 27 years later, a group of bombers led by American Lieutenant Charles Carroll Taylor and called Flight 19 went missing in the airspace above the Bermuda Triangle. As with what happened to the Cyclops, there was no explanation and no wreckage ever found. In his best-selling 1974 book, The Bermuda Triangle, Charles Burlitz made the story of the triangle well-known. In the book, Burlitz said that the disappearances had something to do with the lost island of Atlantis. Also, the World Wildlife Fund did a thorough study of shipping lanes at sea in 2013 and found that the Bermuda Triangle is not one of the 10 most dangerous bodies of water for ships in the world. But what do hypothetical and natural explanations say about Bermuda Triangle mysteries? People who believe the Bermuda Triangle is real have come up with a number of ways to explain it. The people who wrote about the triangle used a number of supernatural ideas to explain what happened. One idea is that the problem was caused by technology left over from the lost continent of Atlantis. The Bimini Road, a group of submerged rocks, is sometimes linked to the story of Atlantis. It's near the island of Bimini in the Bahamas, which some people say is in the triangle. People who believe Edgar Cayce was a psychic think that when he said proof of Atlantis would be found in 1968, he was talking about the discovery of the Bimini Road. People who don't know better call the Bimini Road a road, wall, or other structure, but it was made by nature. Some people think that the Bermuda Triangle is near a parallel universe, which causes a time-space warp that pulls things around it into a parallel universe. Others say that these events are caused by UFOs. If we consider natural phenomena, there could be other explanations like changes in the compass, human error, or bad weather. 
In many triangle incidents, compass problems are one of the things that are said to have happened. Some people have thought that there might be strange magnetic anomalies in the area, but no such things have ever been found. Navigators have known for hundreds of years that a compass's magnetic field changes with the magnetic poles. The Gulf Stream can also be considered a reason. The Gulf Stream is a major surface current that flows from the Gulf of Mexico through the Straits of Florida and into the North Atlantic. It is mostly driven by a thermohaline circulation. It is basically a river in the middle of the ocean, and like a river, it can and does carry things that float. Its top speed on the surface is about 2 meters a second. A current can move a small plane that lands on water or a boat with a broken engine away from where it was last seen. Human error is one of the most common reasons given by officials for why a ship or plane went down. Harvey Conover, a businessman, may have lost his sailing yacht, Revenant, when he went into a storm south of Florida on January 1, 1958. He may have done this because he was too stubborn to turn back. Hurricanes are strong storms that happen in tropical waters. In the past, they have killed thousands of people and caused billions of dollars worth of damage. The Spanish fleet led by Francisco de Bobadilla was destroyed by a hurricane for the first time in 1502 when it sank. In the past, these storms have caused a number of things to happen in the Triangle. As they go around the East Coast, many hurricanes in the Atlantic pass through the Triangle. Before weather satellites, ships often had little to no warning that a hurricane was coming. But keeping aside these things, NASA has its own theory. A report from the Honduran newspaper La Tribuna says that 75 ships and planes have gone missing in the Bermuda Triangle. The report also includes a theory by meteorologists based on NASA satellite images that rare hexagonal clouds in the area create air bombs that can hit at speeds of up to 170 miles per hour, which is why there are so many accidents in the Bermuda Triangle. Most of the pilots and ship captains who have gone missing in the Bermuda Triangle were not very experienced, which backs up the claim of Swedish scientist Krusalnicki. His theory seems to make sense when you think about where the area is, how the weather is, and how much traffic there is. But the legend of the Bermuda Triangle, the interest it generates, and the money it brings in from tourism, and the number of movies, books, and documentaries about its supposed supernatural powers will keep the mystery alive, even if Cruzel Nicky is right that the mystery is easy to explain. So at last, if we conclude about the Bermuda Triangle, here's what we don't know. No one knows how many ships and planes have gone missing in the Triangle. Most people think there are about 50 ships and 20 planes. Many ships and planes that were reported missing in the area have not been found. No one knows if the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle were caused by people making mistakes or by the weather. So, I think that's just about going to do it for today's video on the mysterious Bermuda Triangle. If you liked today's video, please make sure you leave us a comment down below and let us know what your favorite part about it was, and what is your theory or best guess as to what's causing the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. Hey, make sure you check out more videos like this one on our channel by subscribing to us and hit the like button so you get more updates too. And thanks for watching.